right, here's example 1.39 uh, from section 4, 1.4 of the Open Stacks Precalculus book. Uh, we're given a couple of functions, f of x is x minus 1 and g of x is x squared minus 1. I'm going to ask to figure out g minus f of x and g divided by f of x. And really all you have to do is kind of translate things. Realize that when it when you are asked this, really that just means this. And this right here you can figure out because you know g of x that's given you in the problem. That's x squared minus 1. Um, and you know f of x. That's x minus 1. Be a little bit careful here. You want to subtract the entire f of x. So you need these parentheses here to make sure you subtract this whole thing. Um, and then combine like terms. Well, I have to get rid of the parentheses before I can combine like terms. So I can make this x squared minus 1 minus x plus 1. All right, this negative distributes through the parentheses. And now if you combine like terms, this minus 1 and this plus 1 will cancel out. And I'd be left with x squared minus x, or you could factor out an x from that. You can argue which one of these two are simpler, because if you were here, you might decide to distribute through. Here, you might decide to factor. Um, the point is that they're equivalent, so either one is what g minus f of x is equal to. Um, so in part two, you're asked to figure out g divided by f of x. Kind of weird looking, but we can do that. Uh, same thing, g of x is x squared minus 1. Um, well, okay, let me show one extra step in here, actually. What you need to know is when you see something written like this, that means g of x divided by f of x. That's what this notation means. This is one machine, but it's defined in terms of the machine g of x and the machine f of x. So I can rewrite it in terms of these two machines, and then g of x is given to me to be x squared minus 1, and f of x is given to me to be x minus 1. And you might be like, yeah, and cancel out these x's. No, don't do that can't do that. You can't cancel over addition and subtraction. You can only cancel over multiplication. If you could rewrite the numerator so it was something times something, then maybe you can do some canceling. In fact, you can. x squared minus 1 factors. Factors to x minus 1 times x plus 1. It's the difference of squares. Um, and what's nice is now this factor and this can cancel each other out, and I'm left with x plus 1. Um, a couple things to be careful of. Really, they only cancel if x does not equal 1. All right, so really, this isn't equal to this. You should be a little bit careful, but most teachers will let you get away with writing this equals this. But just know the domain's a little bit restricted. The question asked me, are they the same function? They're not the same function because this does not equal this. Um, so before you even go back and consider the domains, I can immediately see that they're not the same function. I think they will have different domains as well um, because the domain up here, uh, x can be anything it wants. Because the domain of g of x is everything from negative infinity to infinity, similar with f of x. Uh, but down here, I have to be careful, x cannot be equal to 1. Uh, so you might even write that domain is all values of x, such that x does not equal negative 1. Uh, no, positive 1, sorry. x cannot equal positive 1, because if x equaled positive 1, uh, then f of x equals 0. And I'd be dividing by 0 here, that's bad. You might be like, but it's okay, it canceled out here. Yeah, yeah, but still, you can only cancel these out if x does not equal positive 1. At any rate, there's all the simplification. I'll stop this here.